What's going on everybody? We just got some uh, parts in for the new 2021 Ram that I bought. Uh, I ended up getting a sport hood. Um, I ordered some, uh, I ordered the kit, the tow haul kit. Um, so I had the little, you know, brake locker, uh, one for the truck that's actually goes with the truck. So I'm still waiting for a couple parts on that. I'm gonna do an install on that. There is a couple online that you can follow, but I'm gonna make one more. So uh, I'll learn that. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this and uh, start unboxing stuff and show you guys what I got. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna be switching gears a little bit and uh, moving back towards some of the original videos I did of my old black truck. Uh, Cause I just picked up a new Ram. We're gonna be doing some modifications here. And uh, since I get so many messages all the time about the update on my the old truck and what I've done with it and what it does and all that good stuff, I figured while I modify my new one, I might as well just bring you guys along. So if you're looking to see what a new, uh, what a new Ram looks like when you do a lift kit and all the other goodies that go along with it. Uh, stick around, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. And uh, check out the video. Okay guys, so what you need to do this as I'm literally taking exactly what he did because it looks pretty simple. It's a magnetic switch for when you open up the tailgate and it breaks the connection. It automatically turns the lights on. Um, you're going to need some uh, adhesive tape if you have this plastic textured um, bed liner. If you have a spray in bed liner, um, you might still need that too. Um, or the LED lights might just stick to it. Um, you're going to need a switch if you want to be able to turn it off when you are not using the lights. If it's like, you know, daylight out and you don't have your tunnel cover on and your, your bed is, uh, your tailgate is dropped and you don't want the lights on, you know, running the whole time. Um, you're going to want a switch to be able to power the lights off and power them on. So um, some wire loom to cover some of the wires. I got black and the truck's black so it matches so you won't see it. And then obviously a fuse, you're gonna want this coming off the battery. God forbid you blow a fuse, you don't wanna kill everything or short everything, you just wanna change the fuse out, it's much easier. So we're gonna get this started. Um, I'm gonna clean up these rails to get any dirt off of it. When I get to the back texture part of the bed liner, I'm going to use the 3M uh, adhesive two-sided tape. Um, I'm gonna bring it around, wrap it through here. Actually, I might even get underneath here and see if I can get it up on the frame under here, but it, I don't know if I can. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in the way, so I might have to go to the plastic all the way around. So we'll see how good this stuff sticks. Kelly, Kelly, what are you doing to my fishing stuff? Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Kelly, you're silly. What are you doing under there, huh? What are you doing? So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to get it started. I'm going to try to put the GoPro in them on this uh, tripod here, see how well this works, I don't know. And uh, if it doesn't work out real well, I'll just take you step by step on how I did it. So, okay guys, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this LED strip. Pretty sure I bought enough, hopefully it is long enough. I'm actually gonna test fit it first. And I'm gonna get up underneath these rails. It looks like I, I do have a decent amount of flat surface. There's a lot of bumps under here for some reason. Um, and I'm going to try to stick it up underneath there. We're going to take it down the rail. I'm going to end up coming out here and I'm going to end up putting some two-sided tape along this because it will not stick to this textured stuff. And I'm basically going to run it across. So these lights will shoot back to give me my light here. Underneath this clip, it will shoot down to give me all the light to illuminate down there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it's going to be a lengthy little process. So I'm just going to do it and then I will 
show you up underneath once I get it all on there. All right, guys, I just finished installing the lights in the bed. Um, I got a little extra. You can actually clip these um, right there on those two dots. It's a scissors symbol, which means you can cut between them and not kill all the LEDs. But it's basically, I don't know if you can see up there, you can see the strip right there just going along the bed rail. Um, I got that going across the back of the bed with the 3M adhesive, double-sided, uh, to help it stick to this. And even then, I don't know, we'll see how it moves, because or how it does, because it was moving on me while I was installing it, which is why I got a little hump right there. So, I don't know. I mean, nothing should really be touching up here too much, but I'm gonna have a tunnel cover on it. I mean, unless I'm taking the tunnel cover off and hauling a bunch of stuff, but. So that's that. Next, I'm gonna wire this up. I'm not going to be able to do that magnetic switch or is it that right here um something to note if you have a 2021 ram or even probably 19 through 2021 um the gap between the bed between right here and the actual bed is so far that even when i lined these up um it couldn't it wasn't close enough so it's thought the the system was opened or closed however the, that works i'm not good with electronics but basically it thought that the light should be on the whole time so i'm gonna have to ditch this i'm probably just gonna end up using just the switch which i noticed right here i have some spare room there's a bunch of room back here to put a switch that i can drill into i'm not gonna drill into a you know brand new truck uh because i don't have any holes to put that switch in like they did on the the raptor so and i'm not comfortable drawing drilling into brand new paint job i don't need it rusted on me before i even get 100 miles on it so next i'm going to wire up that switch and i will uh take you from there all right guys i finally got everything done um i put this tile cover on this is a gator tile cover so got it off of amazon a tri-fold soft cover I won't lie it wasn't very expensive it was like 229 bucks um, these things range from that price all the way up to a thousand um, I got the bed lights put in lights it up pretty good um, the switch took me a long time to figure out because there's so many wires going to it, but I basically have it wired backwards now, but I don't feel like taking it out. Push it down, turn it off, let it out, turn the light on. Hopefully when I hit bumps, it doesn't let it off. But, uh... All right, guys, it's going to be a little noisy. My neighbor's cutting his grass. So um, basically, first thing we did on this ram was we went back here and installed some lights. This is just a basic kit. It's a 5630 LED kit. Um, I just ordered a little switch right here, just on off and wrap it around, tucked underneath the bed rails like that. I don't know if you can see that, but all the way underneath the bed rail you know it's sticky on the back side i use the double-sided adhesive to get it to stay onto the these you know plastic bed liners so does its job pretty good okay so just went and picked this big box up from the dealer here in st Clair, michigan i'm excited but we already have one issue and I noticed it when I was at the dealership and that's, you know, I have the blacked out Ram. All the badgings are black, the wheels are black, all that good stuff, black, black, black. So, uh, you're probably not gonna see that, but yeah, black badging. The issue that we already ran into is when you hand it to me, I now have chrome badging 
and a badge that says Hemi E-Torque. I did not get a E-Torque motor. I did not want that. I did not want it shutting off at stoplights. Plus it's, you know, it's a new technology. You never want anything on the first year. So the vents look good. If you guys want a part number for some of this stuff, that is there. There's also some part numbers here. Uh, this is the bezel in the middle. There's some numbers there. If you're looking to do this to your RAM. This one. So there's also a part number on this box, which we're gonna open here in a second for you. I gotta make sure there's nothing wrong with it. But there you go. If you're looking to get a sport hood without actually paying for the sport package, because it's ridiculous, that is the number you need. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. I'm gonna try to tighten this to the trailer and see what happens here. So, get back, buddy. Go on. So, there it is. See, it's got the vents. It's got that small cowl for the bezel. It looks like everything on the bottom of that bezel, it looks like it just everything snaps into place. I think this just snaps into place, too. So, that's kind of cool. They said it was going to come primer, but it's already black. But I'm going to have to have it paint matched. It's going to cost me about 250 bucks to have it paint matched. So in this next video, it will be paint mash and hopefully we can get this badging corrected. I'll call them tomorrow. But as you see, it looks like it's just a bunch of little push pins in there and it should just snap into place. Easy peasy, no screws. So we'll see. Now, if you're wondering why I ordered this straight from Mopar, because you can probably get this online cheaper. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen these hoods for about 600 bucks. But things never fit correctly from aftermarket people. I didn't want to pay a ton of money for body work. So I knew this being a Mopar part, it's probably going to fit pretty close to stock. And then, like I said, the guy is a retired painter. He's going to paint it for me for 250 bucks. So I can't really beat that. So. So that's why I just went ahead and paid more. If you have a family member that works for Chrysler, you can get a discount. It's, the hood will cost you around 900 bucks with the bezel. So for the peace in mind that it's going to fit and not have to be trimmed or modified or sent back or damaged in shipping, it, to me it was worth the extra few dollars. So 